Hello and welcome to the Toolkit for Traders YouTube channel, uh, where we give you the tools for trading success. And we're on to the second video in the Code Your Own Expert Advisors programming tutorial series. This time we're on MQL5, which is the programming language for MQL5, uh, for MetaTrader 5, but more on that in just a moment. So the second lesson, uh, following on from the pattern of the MQL4 course, we're gonna be setting up our tools getting our environment ready so that we can quickly and efficiently uh, create our own expert advisors and indicators in MQL5 and MetaTrader 5. So we'll be setting up our tools. We'll be looking at how, what an EA is made of, what an expert advisor is made of, uh, what the files are that make it run, where they're kept, and a way to do some handy shortcuts. And we'll be looking at starting your first expert advisor in MetaEditor. So if you like the videos on this YouTube channel and if you like what I'm doing, please uh, give some, the channel some love with a like, a subscribe and add some comments. If you've got any questions or anything you'd like to see in the future, um, I do try and read through as much as I can and respond to as much as I can. And it helps me uh, think about what content we're going to do in the future after we've done this MQL5 course. So. Quote for this lesson, uh, a workman who wants to do his work well must first prepare his tools. Um, yeah, and that's what we need to do today, right? We need to have the right tools to code. We need to make sure our environment's set up and we don't wanna be faffing around, delaying ourselves with trying to figure these things out uh, with clunky methods. So let's look at how we're gonna do this. So the first thing we need to know is what is an expert advisor made of? You know, how do we get it onto our software and how does that, how does our code get into the software of uh, MetaTrader 5? So the first thing to say is that when you're coding an EA, there's two key files um, when writing code and running an expert advisor or an indicator. They're both the same um, file types, um, but there's two key files you need to know. Uh, the first file is a .mq5 file. Uh, that file is a simple text file uh, and it's in a human readable language uh, and it's in a programming language called MQL5. So this is what we'll be writing when we're making our expert advisor. We'll be writing a, a simple text file with an extension .mq5 um, that uh, with this training course, you'll be able to read and understand. Going on from there, you have an .ex file, and this is a file that the computer can read and take our instructions from. So the .ex5 file is the actual file that the computer is loaded into your MetaTrader 5, and So the .ex5 file is the file that the computer can read and it takes the computer takes its instructions from the .ex5 file. Now, if you were to try and open the .ex5 file, you wouldn't be able to read it. You wouldn't be able to understand it. It's in a language that only, uh, generally only computers can understand, um, which is okay because uh, we're, of what we'll see in a second. So the source code .mq5 that we write needs to be translated. And in uh, sort of computer science terminology, this means compiled. Um, in order for your MT5 terminal to be able to read it. So we have our .mq5 file on the left, which uh, uh, it was, we, we, we write, and, and then that is compiled, and out of once that compilation is done, if there are no errors, it will give us a .ex5 file, which the MetaTrader terminal can read. So to use a bit of analogy to try and explain this, if, you were, uh, if you're following this channel and you're fluent in Spanish, uh, and maybe you want to talk to somebody in the UK, but you don't uh, speak English. Um, obviously, if you're following this along, you probably do, but just go with me for the example. And um, what you might do is you might um, type or speak in the microphone into the Google Translate app, and the Google Translate will translate in that into the British language um, for somebody to, to understand. So you have a, a language, one language that you understand, a tool to uh, translate that into a language 
that someone else can understand and then it that comes here so even though you're not able to understand each other and um, the tool in the middle can do that and that's what we do we write in a language we can understand mq5 it's compiled by the computer and translated into a .ex file which the computer can read and that makes our life a lot easier we don't have to write in binary we don't have to write in very in, in computer code um, for processes to read we can write in, in something that's much more um, user friendly for human beings right so the file location and handy shortcuts so um, MetaTrader 5 uh, stores its uh, files in a bit of a weird place so you need to know how to find them so um, they are stored in what's called the data folder and as I say it can be hard to find and we'll look at that in a moment um, so it's helpful to create a shortcut to save you uh, time finding that data folder especially if you um, develop your EA somewhere else like on a cloud folder you want to be able to drop those um, into the shortcut so you're not having to spend uh, lots of time uh, developing um, lots of time searching for that folder so we'll go look at that now and we'll look at starting our first uh, expert advisor um, so let's head over to the desktop now so the first thing you want to do um, is you want to download MetaTrader 5 you can put that in Google um, and download a generic one so over here I've got MetaTrader 5 which is a generic portal you can also use a broker that you use if you I use uh, Pepstone for mine I'm not going to open that because that's to my live account um, but you can download it either from your broker or from uh, MetaTrader probably easier to download it from your broker if I'm honest um, but you, you can do that and when you do that as well um, MetaTrader will also give you the access to the editor so um, but I will go through MetaTrader first um, as that may be all you will see on your desktop when you download it so you open up MetaTrader um, and it's sort of got this basic demo account with MetaTrader so uh, but it does the purpose for us for now so we want to go over to this top left corner and we're looking for um, IDE which stands for Integrated Development Environment. So um, this is this is what you use to um, develop there. And if you press the shortcut that was on my desktop, that would bring up the same thing. You can also use the shortcut F4, um, which is kind of handy. Um, but otherwise, just come up here and you can click uh, that to open the editor. Okay, so when you open it, um, you'll come up with this, the editor here. And this really, I mean, you could do the same thing in Notepad um but and it would work but actually um, using the ide gives you lots of really handy things like you see how these um these words are in blue these are in red and these are in green that really helps you to be able to read the um the code if you did this in in notepad it would work and there'd be no difference to it but it would be much more difficult to write so highly recommend you use the ide um, that's provided it's pretty good it's pretty full functioning and it will actually um, help you type it will give you sort of tool tips and things like that to help you um, write you have here the file structure in mql5 and you can see here we've got a folder for experts and this is where our expert advisors will go we have a folder for indicators and this is where our indicators will go um, and you can see the examples that they have in here you can when you've done this course you'll be able to look at all these pretty clever indicators and see how they actually work modify them and do all those kinds of things so um, what you want to do uh, going back here where they're all stored if you go to file you can see this open data folder here um, and this will take you to that same folder um, that I was just showing you in the system so if you go to MQL5 you can see we've got experts and indicators and if we've got experts we've got the examples that you can use um, which you know um, you can look at those and you've also got the indicators and the examples and all those different ones here and you can see the two different files you've got the MQ5 and the X5 so this is this is this is one we can open so if we take an example accelerator we double click that um, you know you can see this here you, you know you look at this it probably doesn't look that readable but actually there's words in English here set index buffer 
indicator data, the stuff that we can understand. Now, if we were trying to try and open this uh, accelerator version, let's, but not in the software, let's, um, okay, so that's going to try and load it in there. Never mind, but just trust me on that. It uh, won't make any sense, but this one does anyway. Going back, you can see here that the file structure um, is kind of weird. You know, your users, the username, app data, it's very difficult to get to. And if you've got multiple terminals, you can see you end up with uh, different locations for your metadata file. It's hard to know which one you're in. So what I recommend you do is you look at this folder here. Um, I recommend you go here and you um, create a shortcut. Um, to that, sorry, oh, give me a shortcut. Mesmer, show more options. Create shortcut. There we go. Create that shortcut. And then what you're going to do is go into your desktop, um, drag that shortcut over there, and then you can use that to um, to to write your file, to drop your files into. So if you go into um, a folder, which this for me is in my um is in my onedrive let me find it you know we can we can drop the shortcut in there and then what you can do is once you've written your file you can just drop it onto that shortcut and it will take it there but what it also means and why i do it on the cloud is that i've got access to this on the laptop or um, and it's backed up with previous versions so there's a bit of simple version control that you can do um, but that's quite handy um a handy way to get back to that folder because otherwise the, the simplest way to do that is to go into your um, IDE and open the data folder or go into MetaTrader 5 and open the data folder. Now what we can do here is we can click on new and say we're going to um, we're going to do a expert advisor just a simple template though um, we'll give this the name tutorial um, 102 um, and we'll put the website in my website. And uh, we'll just drop that in there. It doesn't really matter for now what we're doing. But it will give us this um, blank template for, for an expert advisor. Now, this will work. It won't do anything, but it will work. And what we can do now is we can click the compile button. So we can translate this into a uh, human uh, computer readable format. So we just click compile. We can see here it had no errors, no warnings, and took 90 seconds to uh, to compile, so not long at all. And then when we go to our MetaTrader 5 terminal, what we should be able to do now is we should be able to click refresh, and our tutorial 102 is there. And you think you just drag this expert advisor onto your chart. And then click OK. And that's it. You can see the expert advisor is running. Um, it's not doing anything uh, because we didn't code it to do anything. But at least we know it's running. And it's as simple as that to get your expert advisor um, going. Go into your expert list. Remove that. Close that because it's not doing anything. And what we need to do in the next episode is we need to get our expert advisor giving us some useful information. So hey guys, thank you for following. I know that was a bit slow for some of you who maybe have already done the MQL4 course and that's a bit simplistic, but um, with this course I'm going through, I tend to go through quite slowly um, so that everybody can keep up. Um, you can always turn uh, the speed up, the playback speed to 1.25 if you find it too slow, um, especially in the early stages and you feel like you're more confident. But uh, thanks for sticking along to the end of the video. Um, next week, we're going to be looking at how lines of code are like sentences, what variables are and how to make them, and what a comment is and why you should use them. So uh, that is a really important foundational video. Hope you stick around for um, the third episode of the series. If you have any questions, uh, drop it in the comment section below. I'll answer as many as I can, but feel free to jump in for each other too. A um, really great way to learn is to learn together and to share with each other. Um, the other thing you can do is jump onto the Toolkit for Traders uh, forum on the website. Sign up there. It's 100% free. I don't sell anything on that website. Um, I just use it to um, share my files. 
um, that you can get from there. Uh, I'm not going to upload the file from today because it's very simple and you can follow the video and do that yourself. Um, but in the future videos, the uh, completed tutorials uh, will be on there for you to complete and to download and use yourself, I should say. Uh, but if you like the video, once again, uh, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, give us anything you want. Um, but uh, it's all appreciated. And that's all for the video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've been able to keep up and I hope you're enthusiastic about the next video. Um, as I say, lots more to come. We're going to get into some meaty stuff next week with the foundational stuff of how to code. And so do stick around for that. Um, trust me, it's not too hard. You can do it. Coding is really, really simple, really easy. You've just got to have that light bulb moment and I'm determined that I'll help you get there. But otherwise, all the best, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next time.